Hello there, little coach Gabe here. So I want to talk about this one specific pick, a Renekton, actually. No one really picks Renekton before Arena got removed and added back. People did play Renekton, but in these days not many people do. Is there a good reason for it? No. The champion is still actually quite insane. The champion is still quite good, actually. He's just not really played. Now, just because I have uh, this specific augment, I gonna go Gunblade, but don't ever go for it. Just because it's insane, like, AV value I gonna get plus the slow, which I kinda need to gap close. But don't go for it. Generally speaking, don't go for it. Uh, but also, notably, you guys see I completely W max. Yes, you gonna completely W max. Uh, <coughs> Just because you wanna go for one stun, one kill, if it makes sense, right? And you need to have some type of champion that loves to have set up, like any type of champions, you know, that love to have some type of set up, like Vagar, throws in his burst one shot combo, you know, these type of champs in general. But, um, so we are kinda getting cooked a little, huh? But, uh, overall, it should be. See, overall, it should be fine, like we see the insane damage. Um, is there any other items I could build? I don't think so, there is an argument for anything else that's AP. Because I went for the convert item, right? Um, usually it's not uh, recommended, but uh, I wanted to roll too too much because we need some augments from higher tiers, so I decided to go for escape AV. Now I don't suppose there is anything else that would be great that it would be converted, but we can check it. Not really, not really, not really, not really, uh, not really, Zanye, maybe, but, I don't know. <coughs> not many things really, right? Blood letters, curse, it gives me armor and more, 70, 80, basically, basically, it's actually nicer than a gargoyle in some sense, but, I think this is fine. Wow, so this is an extreme specific build, as you guys can see, because this gives me defensive offensive stats, really lovely ones, uh, and of course, like my Alice really loves that I removed their uh, MR, that's really insane for her, but generally you can go for a absolutely normal, like, uh, Borg, Duskblade, Grudge, you know, uh, an absolutely normal, like, Renekton build, uh, and you still can win with it, I just got Escape AD, and I do believe it has some degree of synergy, we even have one AP scaling, but just because the um, augment is kind of strong with certain items you can build on an Ecto like these two, I would actually recommend you to do it. Although I could then actually go Grudge, but the issue with Grudge is it provides way less AD. Uh, it provides the uh, same cooldown, but no resistances, right? <coughs> so I kind of wanted to be a bit more resistant. We have to capture this and it should be GG. Everyone loves Skarner, but I think Skarner is a bit overrated this game mode. Like, it might just be me, but I'm not... On I don't think actually much of Skarner. What did I click on? What did I click on? My W disappeared. <coughs> did I click on Alice's W? I mean passive. What did I click on? Did he have edge of... Bro, what did I click on? As I said, one W, one kill, ideally. I don't know what did I click on. Did I click on a plant with that? I don't know. <laughs> something I clicked on. Now, again, there is a lot of emphasis on as much damage as possible, but in here we can just not do that, and we can actually just put a little bit more emphasis on just, like, having this type of Everfrost. Do I care about Everfrost? It definitely gives me a gap close. Um, it scares with AD as well. Wow, I didn't really want it to go for an extremely specific build, okay? But in here Everfrost is really lovely, just because it gives me another form of gap close. Which we usually we need. Plus, like, we still get 409 AD. <laughs> we can go a grudge or something. <coughs> like, usually I wouldn't go for an extremely specific build in front of you guys. Just to present the champion. But I hope it doesn't go some cooldown. It doesn't. Okay. But these items are so fitting, right? <laughs> can, uh, can just capture this for now, right? And we can in. We can ever... Oh, we don't want to throw her away. We can all in the other guy as well, it's totally fine actually, right? Because in here, like, of course he's gonna do that, but holy. Oh, he cooks me with something, he has, singed, he has a cinch queue which is barely visible. It is there, but it's barely visible, uh -huh. Doesn't connect, my bad. I bet, <laughs> but he still picked him up. 
And uh, yes, so our rule does get value out of this. Uh, but I guess we got AD, so it scales with both AD and AP. So it doesn't really... So in here again, emphasis on W. Now, none of these really gap close. They provide me a gap close or some form of uh, more damage on W, so you don't care about this. This does provide me damage. We could go for this, but it gap close. We, I think we have enough gap close just because we have Evor for these two items. Plus I have home guard, which is insane at gap closing. <coughs> I think there is like a lot of gap closing tools we have. It just we got to put emphasis on just like damage. I think at this point probably like a grudge. Oh, they are rushing in actually. Just like that. Life soul mortar, bro. Oh, and they have cringed it. Ooh, they have disgusting damage. Ooh, I may have cringed the play. I didn't expect the damage, but I guess send a victor XD. Ooh, they had nasty damage. But he had 100, uh -huh. 100 AP from this. Yeah, item cooldown. Uh -huh. They did actually have some damage out once as well. You know, then, uh, they hurt. They hurt. Not underestimate them. And now I do want to go for this. And this can be replaced easily with Dead Man's Play. Just so we keep our mobility. Is there something? This also provides mobility. And this also does provide mobility. Um, not sure. <coughs> <coughs> but basically, even if you go for like some type of lethality build, you get the same um, same result. Oh, excellent press space. You get the same result. It just um, I just went convert it because I think like it's a bit broken. Even th even throw because like it provides you the stats of these items, right? Like every stat. Then you get, then you convert AP into AD, so they are basically AD items at most. They don't provide lethality, I know, and they don't provide tank stats at most, except like this item, I know. But here's the thing that you should watch out for. Um, I hope the Skarner team means because they are easy clap. Yeah, the Skarner team seemingly means. Please, thank you. And uh, uh -huh. I could even sell this for Leandri. Because into them they fight into us, I don't think so, I need gap close, huh? Or I feel like I could sell this for last play just because it gives insane damage. Leandri, Riftmaker, don't think so, Riftmaker doesn't give any damage. This, so I could go this as well, Crown, but do I get one shot at anything? Calyx does some damage. Um, I think it's fine. Because it provides mobility, the Crown's passive. <coughs> oh. My W wipe wipes it. So the thing is on the next one, you don't need uh, anti shield except if both of them hard shield. Because um, like your W already does the job for you. Right? So whoever with W gonna die, it doesn't matter. Oh, we kinda need that ever. Oh, it's. No, it doesn't really matter to choose GG. Um, I think I could then switch though my mythic of choice for a... Uh, I mean, it still provided me 200 only. You're not serious. I guess Kha'Zix can double proc it or e-proc it's garden or they walk away. So if it wasn't that OP, I guess that's where probably I would go much further because I get a reset after a kill. But uh, you get my point. So if you're gonna go Renekton, ideally you need some type of mage. Alice is fine. Any type of like mage, ideally. So you wanna kind of like go in. Sometimes you need growth scholar rollers. Sometimes you need some type of items that provide you a cap close. But uh, you have to sort of go in, set up an Idali, she all in, you know. So you're sort of the type of champion that has a lot of burst. And as you guys saw at most parts of my video, if you have enough damage and you don't build like insane tank items, you can take down like 70% with your all instant combo. Around 70% of someone's HP. And then you just need someone to finish them off, ideal an AP champ. So you your team comp has both AP and AD champs. So the, like, it, like in arena in lower ranks, it doesn't really matter. It's like a high guild thing. Because in high guild, if you have double AD and those champs don't have armor pen in their kit, or you don't get like some type of insane augments, uh, it usually means that, or true damage in their kit, of course, or AP damage, but you guys get my point, I'm overanalyzing it. Uh, then usually you're gonna get third place because they're gonna get armor items. So often you're gonna end up in an awkward spot where if you have a full AP or full AD, more so like full AP feels to be a bit more punishing actually than full. Uh, AV in my experience, then, then it just can be awkward, so ideally you should mix it a bit. 
Uh, you can get Syndra with Renekton, you can get so many things honestly, just so anything that really has some damage to finish off a champion and uh, preferably AD. <coughs> and this is how I reach 7k. I think the like, Renekton is super good, not too hard, I would say not too hard, you can pick up plants real quickly, you can dominate the early game, mid game, late game, any point of the game. Uh, make sure you double max though. Into Melecombs I would put 3 points in my Q, but there is no emphasis in maxing Q because W, I said 1 W, 1 kill, and that's it, you know. Uh, you don't have to overthink it too much. You can even like pair with W max if you don't want to overthink it too much. And we are actually closing up to uh, top 100. So we see we have 112 uh, gladiator points per win, 780. And uh, let me show you guys, we're actually closing up uh, to top 100 in arena, right? Unless people are already are bigger no lives than me, but today I'm pretty much sure I played the whole day uh, arena to be in the top 100, so we are closing up to it. So in my next stream, of course, you guys be gonna be able tomorrow, if I get to stream, I'm not even sure if I get to stream before I say bullshit. I'm not 100% sure if I get to stream, so that's something I'm gonna mention. Uh, but look, uh, we need uh, approximately, actually we, we can get uh, 510, uh, uh, of course, like uh, arena points and we'll be able to actually be in top 100. So that's it for now guys, have a nice day.